that reinforces reps over and over during the season. We need two hand pulls, play a rest, right? Nobody should, nobody should be taking control of my body when I'm wrestling. It's got to be, and my, my thing that I say to reinforce over and over is muscle memory, natural reaction. Right, stand up, right, and if I went, right, it's a natural flex, right, it's, you'd have to think about it. And if you realize, that's the fastest you could ever be as a human being. The human flinch is the fastest you will ever be. You can, and so what you want to try to do is train to where the, the reaction is a flinch, right? And wrestling, fake me. Right? Go ahead, fake me. We've gotten that point. You've gotten people, we're adjusted. We've got that flinch instinct in a wrestling in that part. You've got to develop that flinch instinct. Somebody touches my wrist. Other time. It's got to be that quick. Somebody collars, they come. This is natural for me. My shoulders automatically roll up. I hide my neck. My elbows come in. Right? When somebody collars. I try to take that offense away. Instead of him pulling on my head, that flinch reaction, that's me. They clear it off. And that's what this warm-up drill skill set here, your turn, buddy, is trying to develop. Now when somebody touches Steve's wrist, it's not standing there. And he can't get rid of Go ahead, grab my, when you see it, here. Before it gets set, off, off. Right, roll it off. Did you guys watch the Darren Jordan match? Yes. Mm -hmm. How many times, go up, go back. Have to watch how many times. You know, obviously, they kind of straight. How many times he does this? Pass, <coughs> pass, pass. Just kept taking off over and over and over again. Something we all learned as kids. Where we at, clear wrist, clear underhook. A few ways to do it, but for this skill set and drive, the number one thing I want my guys to do is underhook me. Back to a flinch mindset. You feel all my body weight, right? Yep. Right in here, head position. Not under them, forearm up. And I want Steve to feel all my weight, right? And then I reach. And I'm either getting my thumb in or my wrist in. Again, warming up. Go ahead, buddy. Heavy. Right, other side, <coughs> heavy, feet stagger, all body weight. I'm coaching your guys, you bring me in the room, I'm saying, hey, go ahead, underhook. No, he should feel all 100, and, I don't know, 60 pounds, 65 pounds of me now. Right here, through his rotator cuff. I'm making him fall off. You ready, Steve, your turn. Oh. Right, you did a clear up, right? You, there you go, see now it's heavy, I can't get it in. Other side, both sides of my head. There we go. No. Yep. Uh, <coughs> and then, maybe that's why I'm the clinch. Other side. And go. Here we go. That's it. Might stretch again. Might spread a little bit. Right? Might spread a little bit. Might stretch a little bit. Might talk to my guy's mindset a little bit. Now, the other big one. It's clear. Front head. Flinch, just say count, shoulders come up. Get small. I go right to my hands, go ahead, pull me up, boom. Before he gets settled, hide my neck, shoulders up, grabbing my wrist, grabbing his wrist, I mean, training that off. Other side, here. Now let my opponent get set up. Small, small. Your turn, Steve. Put him under. Right, put him under. He does that. That was gonna be a second one. Watch how he moves. Slow. I put him under. He goes right there. Triceps starts rolling away. Before I can squeeze him, right there. Tricep. The other key thing he does in freeze. He's blocking. He's pushing something here as he runs his feet. Go, go, go. Other side. Go, go, go. Clearing that front head. Two on one. <laughs> Right? A couple ways to clear. First one. Right? I'm gonna take go wrist and go head position. When you teach this one, you don't have to teach. These are simple fundamental drills. When you teach this one, make sure your forehead's up, you're not getting yourself in the front head. Rolling the wrist, straighten it up. Here. Heavy. Right? And I'm gonna keep going here. Get inside. Right? Outside here. Back to mine. 
Alright, we're warming up. Good. Good. Your turn. Your turn. Here. Go. Go, go. Alright, that's the jerk warm up partner right there. <laughs> Remember, it's warm up. Guys, we're not we're not killing each other right now. Go ahead. Boom. That's it. aspect of is my elbow's got to get under his arm today where it has to be. Tricep pull and then as you square you got a windshield wipe toward the side he's attacking. Here. Watch when he takes it. Go ahead and take it. See him getting up on his toes. Right now turn. Here. Because what I say to my guys is Nobody ever is in control of us. Somebody thinks they have control right away. We're putting it against them right away. When he thought he had something, he's now in trouble. Fastest moment you can ever be in your life is a flinch. And that's what these skills gotta be, are flinches. Go, grab, that's it now. You go, sir, and go. Here, that's it. One more. Here we go. Questions on that? Yeah, that's just one of my warm-up drills. Now, let's go back, scroll down. We'll go back up. Go back up. Going <clears throat> oh, too far, too fast, too crazy right now. Right there. Packing ties up. Okay, so a couple little bit more. Same thing, back to drills, back to still warming up, but you're, you're actually wrestling, right? So first one is level change shot. So we're warming up again, right guys? Warm up, get into my double, right? All right, circle this way, circle this way. Right, circle this way. Circle this way. Circle this way. Circle this way. This is big. What I did there is I told him. I told him where to go. I'm warming up. I'm doing a level chain shot right now. It's one of the ways I'm gonna get somewhere on a guy. And I tell my partner, right? It's like you're drilling singles. I single like this, I take that leg way back. That's not the side I single, right? I, I single that side. So I might instruct, and you gotta tell your guys, tell them what you need. Because when you're drilling, you're learning. So I might pull him up. That's it, Steve floated, right? But if I pull Steve and he never brings that foot up, I can't drill my move. Keep educating your guys on Ball run advancing and being a partner. Warm up again, bring that leg up. Level change is my set. Bring that leg up. Level get the change to my high C is my set. Square. Go. High C, there we go. Don't even touch me. Be fast. Level change and go. There you go, double. Level change and go. That's it. One more double. Good. Call it time. Warming up, getting loose. Right? When you make contact with somebody, there you are, right? That's your position on the mat. You moved, right? So another thing I would stress is this is wrestling. Fight with rules. If you're gonna to touch somebody, unless you're baiting them and being super sneaky, when I make contact with, if I post on see, he's moving. I pull him, he's moving. If I'm gonna crowd and coming in with my collar, it's a bad thing for high school kids. They both come in, for some reason, they, 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 they grab each other. I don't know why they do this, they grab, right? You've seen it, you know what I'm talking about? Everybody just feels like, okay, hey, shake hands, let's go. <laughs> I don't know why. So the thing that I would say, hesitation kills your career. And one of my sayings, the other one is, when you touch him, I gotta say, move him, right? So if I'm collar trying to see, Right? Make a collar ties. Heavy. Now, oh look. Let's see, let's see how I reach. I might go in 
And remember all those clear drills we did? Now you can start saying, hey guys, this is where a post comes out. When you call her in, he posted on you at some point. Go ahead, your turn. That's it. Go ahead again. Good. So if we're warming up, starting to get moving. How our time moves again. Touch and go. Drag that old right here. Take that tie. Kind of like the level change. Level change I like to think out here. Just working on our, our guy's feet. But this is touch and go. Go ahead. That's it. He reaches for me. Hop. Hands go up. Same so way reaches for me. Right. Double. He reaches for me. Hands go up. Elbow pass. Okay, this one. I don't. I like it. I like it. But I hate how people drill. This is. Go ahead, pass. Again, we're more up. They do this. How many often you guys actually really see it? Kids have a hat. Well, it's just because it feels so clean to move that shot. An elbow pass is really like this. Remember the concept of the concept of here when you touch me. Well, you don't get to have control of me, Steve. Right? You collar come. I'm instantly got to put you on the offense. Now, a pass is not really the elbow. It's the ear, right? High and tight. And without a lean, it's hard to pass a guy. So when I jam in with my body weight through my head position, now when I pass the uh, here, that's when you start running down high seas. High the collar. So I went. That's when you're gonna start running down single legs. Now, we're warming up, right? Your turn. Your turn. That's it. I'm floating. Go ahead. Good. I'm not killing my partner right now. Again. Yes. Square. Okay. Good. I see. Look. They should not be killing each other. You should still be saying warm up. Hey. If I see guys starting to go. Hey. Hey. What are you doing? Slow down. Slow down. We've got a long time to go. We're getting fluid. Right? Because you know high school kids get it. Bring them along, bring them along a little bit. They go too fast, too early, then they're done. Where are we at? Elbow pass, I'm just giving you a couple shots from it that you can drill here, right? Here, pass, and off this guy. This is about teaching guys drive. Sometimes, they'll try to roll back inside on me and get inside, right? So, I'm not letting them do it. Go ahead, get in, get in, they can't get in, they go outside on my elbow. That's when they start opening up. So when you pass a person and you got here, you pass, that your core's body tight, elbows are tight, he can't get in, he'll roll out. When he rolls out, then I can get there. Ankle pick, ankle pick. Just an easy natural one. Here, he passes me, come get some, go step hard. There you go. And then you're finding it, right? Yeah. Little step hard, then you're finding it. Underhook, oh, busy hands. It's a little hard to explain. It's not hard to explain. You do all this work, and you still do all this work mechanically, left and right, and grabbing something and taking it control. But at the NCAA tournament, I always go through and break it down. What's the best setup? Top 10 setups, busy hands, which is just a guy. Yeah. That's just motion, movement, you know. I probably could have charted, does that happen in more second or third period, or does it happen? But that was the number one set. A guy being active, 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 you know. Active here, right, boom, here, here. Never had something cool. So when I look at that, I'm like, it's gotta be part of our warm up right now. Bring that down, I wanna busy. Busy, chopping, pulling. All right, go ahead, Steve. Go, that's it, pulling, reach. Look, that's a partner, I gotta find him. I'm gonna do the things that a guy's gonna do. Here we go, go ahead. Busy hands is a good one. Miss shot. So, 
You wrestle a guy, sometimes you determine that you know it's not, you, you, I mean, I know you said it. It's not always gonna be your first, it's gonna be your second or third attempt, guys. But then you never drill it. Then you actually never drill it with your guys. Teach them how it's gonna be their second and third attempt. Specifically, if I'm dropping on my high crotch, right? To really sell a fake or to really be committed, I'm committed to my first one because this is a missed shot opportunity. I'm committed to my first one, don't go, <laughs> right, I'm in here. Maybe still inside the elbow. Go ahead, scroll. Just get a feel for getting back out of there. Right, I'm dropping in. Getting back out of there. Finding my second one. Slow, here, pulling back out. Getting back in on my second one. I'm learning how to go under, get confident going under, coming back out. Single, right? If I keep the arm, drop it in. He sprawls, oh, sprawl. I feel it. I'm not there yet. He's going back. I feel, hey, I get a reaction of coming up. Right, again. Now Steve knows what I'm doing as we're warming up. When I tell guys, miss your first shot and they do this, you didn't take a shot. You, took, you faked. Uh, you didn't go under. You haven't drilled getting under and getting back out. Right? Single, he sprawls, oh, sprawl. Look, I don't have the arm. This is that time you come out. As I'm coming out, I find something to push on. Here, oh. Go ahead. There we go. Other side of the body. You can call that miss shot. I think uh, Emma's gonna send this stuff to you. Yeah. Well, you can call it going under uh, for a miss shot. Make sure you go under. Don't fake. Go under. Learn how to go under on your because it's a it's a development. It's learning. If I go under this seat, he sprawls. Well, I'm probably not, I'm not backing out, right? I'm knee sliding. I'm moving, chasing that leg. But if I go under and I get here, right? <laughs> Learning how to get my feet and hands going again to get myself out. Those two different areas. Now you get in the other one. Warm up. Dang it. Head down. Right? Warm up. Dang it. Head down. Here, I want head position. I want my hook on top of the shoulder, and I want to be pulling because I'm just looking for that initial. I don't want to hang out here. Initial period pops, right? But we're just warming up. I'm just swinging in here right now. Swinging in here, go Steve. And that's it, here. Uh, drill problem on underhook, go ahead. Yep. All right, release the elbow. So, have to talk to him, go. A little pinch. Little pinch, but he learns. Other side, little pinch, but he learns. All right. So if you just want to know how to get out here, right? I see. Now you're fine. I just have one there, so I can show him. That same side as the underhook. Hang it in. Swim a little over and get there. Bang him in, head down. I don't want to learn, it. I don't want to be here forever. If I go, boom, little pressure up. Get into my high C. Here. Get into my double. Right, step. Get into my double. Right. Swing it across, get into my single. Swing it across, get to my single. I, I put this in just because I really like it. I have success with it, so. Here, head position, right? I love arm drags, people just don't know how to teach them. Here, he feels a little more comfortable. You don't like this, right? Mm -hmm. But when you get head position, you feel better. When you're here, you feel more grounded. 
vulnerable, right? From here, you don't feel as bad. And then also, let me get rid of it, right? Now you feel a little better, right? Mm -hmm. This is a slick setup, right? This is what we talk about when you're doing something sneaky and technical or something just built on flinching and muscle memory. So I, I teach my drag from here to so get a guy learning on the drag because he's leaning. That's why arm drags work. He's probably pinching down on this elbow. He's pressuring him with his head. He's probably pulling on here because I tried to jack him up, put him out of bounds. And then that underhook comes across. And it's effective because I took him more here and you go ahead. Oh, you got my wrist, right? Oh, oh, oh. This guy, all oh, he thinks he won this position. He thinks he put himself here. But I fought him, fought him to let him believe, yeah, you're just stronger than me. Right? I just put it in there because I hit it a lot from that position. And that's the setup. Fireman's underhook. Here, wrestling guy. Right, we're battling this game. Go ahead. Look, he's got head position again. Intentionally go. I might bang him out of it. Here, right? He wants it back in there. Right here, wrestle a little bit. Yeah, right there. Guy lets me climb. I have to go in here, here, here. Let's me climb. A lot of times they go right to your elbow too. Right? Here, fighting. Get out of there. Right back in the now. Um, so you saw reaction stuff. Move it, level change, and circling your findings, right? So that's the idea of a sneaky setup. That's getting somebody to wrestle. This is what the best guys, when you watch international wrestling, this is what they're capable of doing. They learned it. I got Steve, all right, maybe not getting the world at once. Okay, got risen now. No, you're not getting that, right? Okay. Oh, got head position. No, get out of there. Right back in. Dang it. Right? Now he goes and he battles his arm free. Right? He takes my rip. Dang it. Uh, you. you. I have a question. Where, you, where are you bringing your left hand on that drag? Are you bringing it back and dragging, or are you bringing it down to drag with your left hand? Left hand? Yeah. This one? Too. Yeah. It's all going through. It's going through. Yes. Okay. Now, here's the thing about a drag, and I think this is where we make the mistake. How many of you guys learned this? This is how it did. Post. Yeah, Mr. Miyagi, right? Karate Kid. <laughs> right? Did anybody ever learn that way? They go, hey, wax on here. <laughs> Boom. Other side. Okay, wax on. That's Greco. That's. Because there's a, there is a lot of stuff, right? The guys in here, and the guy goes this. The Greco, uh, and the Greco, they don't attack their legs. I think that's at least the coach that taught me. I think he was watching some Greco. For us, you watch those effects, effective drags that Snyder and Sedge Alive do. When I'm here, and I start taking him out of bounds, look, you see where his butt shifted out? Now he's got head position, and he's leaning on me. In folk style or freestyle, an effective drag happens when this guy is leaning against me as the wall. When he's up here, it's, we, it's hard to get around on the corner on the guy, but when he backs his butt out, here, now I go here, he's going by. When I talk about Snyder, if you watch Snyder, he does a lot of this, that reverse wrist stuff, and if you watch, he gives head position. He does the same thing, and he doesn't score on his drag, he scores on the missed opportunity. If you watch how many guys, when he when Snyder hits it, he takes his head position away, he goes high drag, that they go all the way to the edge and they have to turn and face. Pull, right here, he'll do this when it's hard because we're not going live, but he'll pull them all the way through and they go to their hands, all fours, and then, fit, and then that's when Snyder chases his pick. But that happens, if you watch him, that happens when he does this, he's got head position, he might have cut tie, and he reaches here, sprawl, 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 right? He gets this here. That's when he'll get it from the lean, right? So make sure when you're teaching drag. But the guy goes wrist. Remember the warm-up drill here? Guy touches my wrist, flinch. You can also just add this. And I just didn't do it because I wouldn't want to take up too much stuff. Other side. Here. When I pull a guy, I'm pulling him. I'm pulling him through his armpit. Heavy, not down in here. Here. And now if I get out of the way of it. Hands are lean, committed, lean and committed. They really go by. So high, clear. Where are we at? Uh, Object got the hook already did. 
Yeah. We did hips, hand hips, we did all that. Yeah. I jumped ahead for that. Defensive skill, we all know how about back down on that one. Good for that. Head only, hand to yeah, get it. Just keep going up. Quick. I'm gonna go here quickly because I want to get to mat stuff for you. Not when you know I'm square. Just back to this. If I'm, if I'm, based on what I know, what you got, that's why I'm hitting this again. I know you guys know it. I just want to make sure I'm saying things that maybe you take back and ask. When I'm down here, right, and I've defended a double, we went clear, whether you stuff in here or whether you push from here. But the biggest stress that I can make to you at this point is what's the strongest structure? Arch. Arch, right? So that's why I say with my guys, arch, always in your arch. And you cannot pop up. You can't pop up out of an arch until I clear. Steve's got his hand on my thigh on the outside until I get clear of it. And even once I get clear, clear, I'm still in that flexible arch. And now I got to get protection. And how I get protection is getting my elbows back inside of his. So look at, I create all kinds of space with my head and my hands to get back to either spin on him Right, or pop up and reshoot on him. Shot. It's the worst as the coach say, whoa, all right, we stopped him. And then whoa, up. He came right up out. And they go like here. So arch and clear. Arch clear, clear, clear. Okay. Back hit this. I got clear. And we got safe. Um, not over. Shoot that big double to my butt. Oh, this one right here, right? Not over. So you want a flinch reaction from your guys, and you want to take out that I screwed up mindset. So on a double, the guy gets in and gets an angle. He gets an angle, and I know I'm beat. We just do we do this drill a lot when we're warming up. That would be part of our clearing ties or our defensive drill. So when I do this one, I always turn toward the head, not away from it. I want to use my feet, and I just want my guys to have a habit of wrestling. So go ahead, drive. Right? Because I can tell you, there's a lot of people that, when they get a takedown, they do the celebration mentally. They will quit. They stop just for a half second. That's just, and I do it to reinforce our style of wrestling that we never stop. And drive. Oh, hold up. Rolling my hips, right? Could use a warm up. Can you see? Oh, no. Back to my wizard. Roll it out. Or just shoot me straight. You know that big double straight to your butt. Right? Just getting feet going. Right? Again. Right to my butt. Slowly. Slow. Wizard. Hit and turn. I got one foot out. He's trying to cover the body. I'm kicking him out. There we go. He came off that leg. It was smart. He should have stayed here. Right? Now I'm rolling. And I'm up. And I'm clear. Without Steve, it's hit, roll. Side hit, roll. Pulling him up. Next. Any questions on any of that stuff? Very black and single. Down, down, down. Defending single. Wizard and square. Keep going. So, a lot. Single leg. Sweet man. Boom. I sprawl. Sprawl. I'm sprawling. Lock hands. Lock hands, right? This can be tough. I ain't gonna sit here and say there's one easy fix. I'm gonna just bring you to center. So, always gonna be easier if I sprawl and I get him flat. If I extend him, now when you extend him, you have more leverage and a chance to bust this lock down here so this guy can't stalemate himself. That's when I'm going to start going to locking. Now, they'll do this again. Here, and then pull him at the elbow. I don't pull a lock. You guys get down here and they mess around. If you put torque here, that's when it's going to be tougher on him, harder on him, harder on his shoulders. So arch, and now I don't walk my feet. I'm trying to arch through his body. You got it? I don't want to hurt you. Yep. Here. Here. So I'm turning my hips into him. What I think people do here is, 
I know I said they try this. When you start doing this, right? Go ahead. But when I focus on blocking and then arching and not walking my feet, putting everything on this joint by not walking and doing this here. Now I twist. And if it pops, I walk. If he's, I know you guys got Columbia in here. If he's getting across and you pop your hips, you're not getting free. All right? He's just too flexible. But for me, this is what's effective. Not walking my feet, arching my body. That's a defensive rule for me here. And now rolling into his head. And if it breaks, now I can walk free. Compared to, I see guys that get in here and they start, okay, go. They're trying to walk away instead of torquing him up. Got to get his elbow higher than his head. Here, elbow higher than his head. Then, then you can get yourself around there. Tough to do if he's on his knees, though. That's why I said, if you don't get the extension, I'll head out and go where you're at. I got you here. That's what we know. You were ahead inside. Sorry. If I got him here, I can't. If he was trying to walk here, you got to get him flat. Get him flat. Arch in. Throw that foot back. Arch in. Throw that foot back. Questions? <coughs> Next. Any single, the way the square kick over. Um, that's more of those things. Stuff. I want to get those high crops. Okay, go ahead inside. Hold that one. Remember the first warm up drill. Head inside. Boom, bang. Just warm it up. Break it. Break it. Getting back. Right. Other side. Boom. Pop. That's a fundamental warm up skill. Over and over again. I put that earlier. Now. You know, get in. You know you got to block, and you know you've got to sprawl. Right? If I get here, I can either chest lock, extend. If I get in flat, you might be back on this stuff. Back to popping locks. But that first one is big hips. Right? If I don't get hips, I'm here. I'm trying to clear right away. Clear. Get back, same as that double. That's fundamental stuff. You guys know that. Remember this rule if a guy goes low on the high C. And what I'm talking about is when he gets in, yeah, yeah, that's, they might start high even. Tell your kids, we need to get our knee higher than his ear. That's what you want to do, knee higher than the ear. So if I feel this guy, I start shoving, I start to feel him driving, I gotta turn my toe away and get my knee higher than his ear. So that means doing this to him, here. That's what you want to get. You develop some balance for it. Because this position in high seas get all kind of crazy with all the different scrambles. So, in. Guys, I'm starting to sprawl. This guy said, knee higher than the ear. Okay. In. Knee on. Now look at my position. Not falling down. I'm up where I can see. Maybe I'm going here. Maybe I'm going here. Maybe I'm doing this. But that's what I'm looking for. I can't tell you what's going to have to be the exact scramble. I, I, when I go here, Right, what I do is, I'm usually always right here. Right, I feel good about doing this, and then, go ahead, hang on, hang on, hang on. I start getting these scrambles, and what I do is just rip this guy back. I keep pulling this way, right? Hang on, hang on. Do what you gotta do. It's easier if you cut, like, do what you gotta do. Now my knees. Because I got my knee higher. When I get my knee higher than his head, I'm more flexible. Right, here. Here. Slow. See? Knees up. Drop it. You might have a guy, right? You might have a guy because that likes to, I don't know, pop up. Get in here. He may like to get in here and start pulling a guy through. That's why I say there's not one rule. Or if he did get here on me, I don't walk here, I go here. I'm dropping into a switch position and putting myself into a shot. Shot. Knees up, right? Here, dig. Hips down, hide this one. Right, I'm going far foot. Here. Here. Sometimes. Oh. Right. Probably seeing that scramble a little bit. Coming up. But the scramble doesn't work. Go ahead. 
if I'm sitting on my butt and I didn't get my knee up. And if I get my knee up, it comes out, right? Now I'm flexible to wrestle. He might try to turn it back into, he might try to run the corner and go low single on me. Go. Where's your, right? Go again, shot. Here, okay. We know we got a lot of spaghetti wrestling now, right? Kind of practice it. That getting into more advanced, and you might have to do a little breakout with your guys who've been with you a couple years. Obviously, your first year guy, you want to jump it over the top. You want him in this arch, 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 arch heavy all the time. Now, he cracks me down, puts me on my hip. Stand that hand, catching. Don't do this. Get cradled. <coughs> Instinct, flinch, right? That my foot's outside and that I'm deep. And when I hit my hip, I can pull and I can get back to an arch position. Huh? Again, this could be warm up. We're rolling. I don't want to be sitting on my butt cheeks. Again, up, shut. Heavy, getting around, arching. Slow. I know I'm going, relax. I feel I'm driving, I know I'm going. My instinct and muscle memory. Should be one up. Okay, go very slow. Up. Scoop. That hand should be naturally coming in. Back up. Shot. Here. That hand should naturally come in. I don't have it listed. But what do you think the number one defense on a high crotch was at the NCAA tournament? Any ideas? Right here. This one. It was either pulling and extending and rolling, or it was. You saw all the freestyle. Go ahead. Chuck. Right. Chest locking. Now, that was when I when a guy was beat. When a guy was beat on the high seat. When a guy was in a crackdown, that's what was being rolled. Or if a guy shot him to a crackdown, that's what was going on. You saw the guys who had freestyle experience, who had instinct in their hips. Lift. Rotate. So that's got to be a position you put some a little bit of time into. If you're not seeing a lot of crackdowns, I won't put a lot of time in. Remember the clinch rule? Freestyle, you guys remember that rule? I see. Yeah. Get in there, start. I coach the Fargo, Maryland team every day. Every day, every day, every day. 50 kids took them to Fargo. Two kids were in the clinch. Right? Because they, they, they were never 0-0. Zero, zero. So when I started looking at stuff, I'm like, that's not a place I should have put time in. I wasted a lot of time in training because I didn't know my, my stats going in on that age group. So I don't know your age group. If you're not seeing a lot of crackdowns, right? If you're not seeing that, and because I showed it, then write it down, save it for later as your kids get better. If you're not seeing crackdowns and you're not seeing guys slamming hips, I wouldn't be putting time there. Um, got it, let's go. Now block standing his opponents. Setting up a reach shot, and we're getting into the bottom. Good. Okay, so last one on your feet is dealing with high school kids. Back to, you know, let's say warm up. We did this one first. So the spins that I drill is this. Guys taking a high seat. Tiny. Tiny. Put a lot of time in to catching an armpit and a tricep that anchors him, and look where my shoulder position is. All right, we're creating a warm up drill for you guys. Go ahead, shot. Boom. Catch in here, guys. Catch in here. Now don't just run far hip. Have a habit chasing here. Pull. All right, go ahead. Other side. Ah, went far hip on that. Other side. Pull. Using my knees to get around. Other side. Shot. Transit. Right? That would be a good effective spin for a lot of reps. The other one, shot, anything. Yeah. So, right there, stay down. Hey, um, I don't lock on my shots, and I don't lock on my front heads. Because, uh, you know, I'm sure, so it doesn't help me, but long guys, I think, are worse about it. When you lock, you, when I drop my hands in, and he was a drag, we saw that, he was a drag guy. He gets more grip on my triceps and stuff. And my whole thing about a front head is I want to be mobile, and I want to be able to score, and I want to be able to go left, or I want to go right. So watch this, if I get 
V shoots, and I'm just doing my job, gonna do this. I can't spin both sides because I'm stuck. So I want to be here on a guy. You know, I was saying I heard a long time ago that people said, hey, listen to him sweat. So that means your ear's in his armpit, right? And my shoulder is in the back of his vertebrae here on his neck. And my elbows, grab my elbow, Steve. Pull it in, pull it in. Now look, now I can go here and he's got to face me, right? I start running here. All right, I start running here. He's going to face me. Go ahead. See, I'm, I'm now very mobile to get that guy. <laughs> Compared to, go ahead. I think that's not, I think this is just fear. They haven't put enough time in defense that they want to go here and they say, I got him, coach, I got him. Okay, now let's work our arms out, son. They never do it. They get deep. Or they try to go, oh, oh my God, I should get even deeper now. Right? <laughs> and they're not going anywhere. So it's shallow. Right? Shot, go ahead. Now, boom. Pull, drop the elbow. Right? Pull. Get around. Right? Other side. Try to here. Pull, drop the elbow. Black. Get around. Again, shot. Shallow. Pull. Drop the elbow. Block and get around. Don't go deep. Stand on your feet. I'll put you under on your feet. Here, I'm not going to do this. Because I want to be able to do this. Right? You got I want to be able to shift my hands to the chin. Here, because I'll do that. Oh, I'll move a guy. But when I'm deep, I can't move a guy anymore. So shallow is mobile. If I don't like the position, I want to get out of there then. Practice the art of the reshot. This comes back to I'm just using one particular position. Danger, right? Feel a little more comfortable, right? Danger, right? Now I feel more comfortable. Thank you. You set my drag. And the reshot, go ahead, shoot. Ha! Right? Squeeze it down here. All right, go ahead, come on, Steve. He's a worker, he works on his miss shot. Come on, Steve. Right. If you're setting a reshot, yeah, and you know what, let him, let him come off. You guys, all the time here. Oh. I don't, I, if I feel a guy, come on, just get in the front, and stop, go. He's coming up hard, he's coming up hard. And I'll just, at some point, I'm, I'm, I'm sliding off his head, and as I slide, I'm probably popping him, to get him out of there even quicker. Kids have a hard time with the art of setup on that position. They, they want to squeeze you. But it's, it's practicing. Go ahead. All right, same one if I say, let's, let's guide him through like the bull with the cape. No. Steve came all the way out. Go ahead. Steve came all the way out. Go. Put him in. It's coming up. It's coming up. Hey, I got college guys that still do it. They just hold, right? Instead of let him, you know he's popping out there. I felt him. He's a hammer. He's strong. He's coming up. Let him swing out. And when, so the setup of backing off, give it a little space, and then get them to set their feet. Shot, right? Come on. Setting that back toe. Again, go. Shot. Setting that back toe. Again, shot. Get their feet set. Work on them with it. Questions on that? Feet stuff? I'm about to go down. All right. I literally got down. Go down. All right. Bottom. Bottom is bottom is soccer back and forth. Like you want to be like I want to teach bottom, but if a guy can't ride, you can't really teach bottom. Is that so? It's it's always just back and forth. And when I when I went back to club, I started coaching little kids. I made up something like track teach five guys. And then I went, I haven't taught the top guy how to ride. He can't ride, the bottom guy can't learn. So the first thing on bottom, everybody does, okay here, now we're going. Right? That's really the here now. You better. You're gonna do a little more work than me. <laughs> um, so you gotta work on the base, that's the first thing you gotta work on. And so 
If a guy can't, if Steve can't hold a base, it doesn't matter what you show him. He cannot get out. If I, if I beat his first move, the first move is stand up or sit out or Grammy. But when you get beat on the first move and you lay there on your belly, it doesn't matter. So unless he knows how to hold a base and how to get back to a base, that, that's where you got to start your teaching, especially your level kids. And then this is what you tell them is, whatever I do, Steve, you got to do the opposite. So if I'm trying to chop you left, you got to, yeah, you shift to the right, right? So he needs to have, he got beat on the whistle. So when you get beat on the one, then I'm going to tell you what your spirit animal is. It's a turtle, right? Because turtle's got that shell, and he goes wide. I'm gonna go down, and then he, he goes here, right? And he's small, and he's low to the ground. So think about think about all these buildings in New York. Get your get your butt up off your ankles first. Put your knees a little closer together, right? So you, there's more surface area now. So so if I look, because he's not a turtle right now, he got beat on the whistle, and he wants to be this big turtle. I can get a knee up in here, right? So, what, what's that mean? You have to drop back down. Okay, now, maybe you got your drop down, but your arms are too close to your knees. And too, now you're tall again, right? Look at this. All right, so now, you gotta get down, and you gotta get wider, right? So you can call it a pyramid, or you can call it a turtle. This is the base you gotta be in. Because now look, if I drive on my toes, I'm driving right over top of them. See up, raise all the way up. All the way up, right? Don't stay in that position. Don't let me push you forward, right? Too thick. So look, the taller you are, when you get beat on the whistle, you can't. You got to get small, low, turtle went down to that. Now, not only does he do that, he wants to be a little mobile. Turtles aren't fast either. They barely creep along. Because if he just tries to fight me, if I'm trying to chop Steve to the right, eventually I might drive in and pull him over. So. He needs to fight my position if I'm chopping to the left, right? And he might move a little bit. That's it. See, I got him. Now I'll change sides on his knee. Come on, there we go. Right here. Bro. That's it. Come on. Now, this is a drill we do. We warm up with it some days. All right, stay there. Right now, it's about how strong is our guy's base. Go, stand there, stand there. I'm locking hands, guys. Go ahead, get that base. Back up, come on. That's it, roll back up. On this drill, I tell my guys, if you can turn them with the locked hands, do it. Because it's strong, because we know we're not facing locked hands when we wrestle. This is where people think freestyle doesn't help, or Greco doesn't help. I learned how to fight on the bottom because of my freestyle fighting gut riches for years. You have to have such a strong core. Not only that, right, you a freestyle guy? Try right, yeah. right, look at him. So watch what happens. He can't lay here, right, that's stalling, we know that, we're drilling. But as soon as I shift my weight, you're gonna watch his knees roll right back to his base. I come here, get back up. Dang it! Dang it! Oh. There we go. Oh, that's where you teach first because if they can stand that. If they get beat, if they get beat, and Steve's here, all right. Doesn't matter. I mean, we weren't standing up forever, but I forgot the base shit. Sorry. Right now, it's here. Oh, tight. Here. Tight. Now you're up now. Yeah, good job. What we got? Um, wide base, hold base to death. Forcing opponent inside. Okay. So some little tricks here when you're in that. So I beat you, right? You stood up, I brought you back down. Not today, Steve. Wide, wide, get wide, get wide. Right, now, if you're in a base hold, how do we get hand control and come out? Well, though, the one thing I think people get caught, they say clear two. That's, I don't feel the need to clear two. If Steve can seal me on one side, yeah, even if I'm here, it's hard for me as a top man to hold him down. Right, but you can trick a guy in a couple of cases. So get wide. You know I'm with this guy, right? This guy, this guy, here. So if Steve brings that wrist in, go ahead. I go here, I catch it. I'm gonna put him over top of it. Knowing that, just like you have setups on your feet, you know what I mean? Just like you have setups on your feet, he comes in, right? Okay. Go ahead, come in there, come in. Like what I'm doing. I'm not gonna give Steve the world. I want hand control to come up and out. So I'm not gonna put myself over it, but I can beat him in there. And then that second hand comes in, and I purposely keep my head on the mat. 
I keep it on the mat, my free hand comes over, and I clean, two hands on it, pop, slide. I'm getting hand control. I'm setting up the top man to get him where I need him to go. At my age, my guys all try to hurt me when they get on top of me. Go. So, because I don't blow up anymore. Go ahead, go, go. Take me out of my base, team. Go, go, get me out of my base. Here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Knees are fighting. Arms aren't getting there. Take a risk, there we go. Cause that's what I do, I, I don't blow up. So I have to have a good, I have to get a better base. And now I bait, capture two hands. Bait, free hand comes in, head gets in there to help me. Now here's where they'll screw up on this one. Clean it, two hands on it. Now watch, you feel me stretching it? Yeah. I do this. <clears throat> this will be the mistake. And this will be the rule with your culture that you're in there creating. That you create. Guys, do it. Boom, got him, coach. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? What did he do? Let go. Got tall. Got tall. Forgot the turtle animal, right? As soon as you do it, get back in there, Steve. He beat my first move. I wasn't faster than him. So now I actually have to technique my way out. But I go, oh, here I go. He's going to drive. Even if, he, even if I got hand control. So now we're gonna start getting a little bit to hip height position because in the end, that's where everything pretty much comes back to. So I cleared it, two hands on it, I stretch it. And the hip height, when I slide this hand, it's always about wiggling out from underneath them. If you watch Steve when I was going at him, he actually wiggled out here, right? I gotta press your back and slide here. Now, the reason your butt comes up it's because, now if this guy gives up, some guys will. They give up, but the guy's fighting no more with this dude. Or they chase him, they chase him, chase him. Oh, okay. You're getting up and out. You felt what you did up here, right? Everybody thinks this hip ice. A whistle, get on me, Steve. Whistle hip ice. Right now, no, just stay there. Try to close the whistle. Bang! I'm out. Same as the Santa. I'll beat you on the whistle. Right? But, chop me. Oh, 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 he's the whistle. Yeah. Okay, hands, hands. Oh, I had to slide. I had to sneak to that heist. You have to get out from under the guy with your hips. And now when I'm ready to cut, elbow tight. Press your back. This will be lazy. Get a lot of laziness. Get here. I always say that the hip heist is about being a, a table. I get out here. Will you put a cup of coffee on me? And it's fine. That's how high they should have their hips. And when you cut, 90% of the time, you cut to the arm that's on your body, and you jam your elbow down in there. That's not, I say 90 because I've seen guys cut the other way. Sometimes I might cut the other way. Just feel it, like I can go that way. But the majority of the time, it's gonna be here, and then if you go back to PA and a bunch of coal mining beer drinkers, they say, here, break this dude's arm. Right? <laughs> break his arm back. Oh! That's what you'd be doing. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ankle? Oh, yeah, I that was an easy one. Just yeah, easy. Now, watch that little trick. Go ahead, Chris. Just make sure when those guys do that, they don't they don't give them we're here where it gets pulled in like a handle. Right? You know that stuff spin. What, I'm, I'm just head on the mat. I'm giving up, Steve. I'm giving up. I'm giving up all this one thing. Right? That's what I'm getting here. Now the other one is this. Maybe the guy's in and out, because you will hand fight, right? You wouldn't let me tie you up. You come in, every time I came in, you took it out. I noticed that. Here, here. Now watch. I start, I start just creeping enough. I'm not stepping out here for cradle position. I start creeping enough that he just feels like, man, I better capture that ankle and put it back under Carrie's butt cheeks and drive him forward, because that's one of the defenses he'll do to try to get me flat. So I feed it, right? I feed it here. So he's not on it. Go ahead, back to moving me. Moving, base got beat. <laughs> Thanks. Now it's my bat now. So I baited, just like I baited my wrist. I baited him to take that ankle. But we go a view on this side with these guys. I did this, I started creeping it out. I baited it. Now, you gotta keep your foot on the mat. That'll be the argument with your kids. Don't wanna, they wanna step up again and you'll drive them forward. This goes to the ceiling. Now remember we talked about Creeping out, 
I just want to hold it. I don't need to break it yet. I just need to get it. And if he tries to drive me forward, I'm holding him back. Because if I straighten my arm, he can't bend my arm from here. It's bone. It's not bending. Right? Now, I go here. I slid out from the bottom again. I didn't jump to my highest. I slid my body out. Here. There it is. Again, let's watch it again. They're going to feel it. There'll be a lot of guys that just go to it. They just feel the need to do it. Here. Once it pops, straight arm. Our rule for our guys is always say, check your wallet. Take his hand and put it in your wallet. That's what we always say to you. Check your wallet. Now, blow it up, blow it up, blow it up. Oh, I'm cutting again. Blow it up and cutting again. Go ahead, Steve. Get down my base. Get down my base. Because they can't sit there, right? You can't sit there. You have to be a turtle animal, and you have to be mobile, little steps. But at some point, I either got to go here or I can go here to set him. Next, ankle. Of course, going to spiral from inside leg. Stand up or high. Okay, so here. So. Guys get frustrated, right? They're here. Come on, come on. Give me out. Give me out. No, no, no. Try to break me down. Try to break me down. At some point, they get frustrated about trying to get you out of there. Maybe they go spiral on you. Here. When he starts driving, the position is I throw this back, and now I'm going to roll to my heist. Right? I'm going from here to, to here. Think about referee's position from the whistle, right? You know the guy drives on the whistle? Which, here, now starting your uh, elbow, right? No, no, relax, relax there. You know, go spiral on the whistle. Here, right? If you knew it was coming, you can throw that leg back and get right here. You can take, use that momentum that he's using and shift him. So if I'm on the bottom and I feel him starting to drive on me, if I kick that leg back again, slow speed, very slow, slow motion, he's driving me here and I go, throw. Now, the one thing I did tell you is you got to get at least how many out from under your armpits? At least one. You don't need to have both. Everybody spends a lot of time sweeping, sweeping. Get one and get up and start cutting. So college wrestling. So an easy way to do it is a little up. That's why I Right? Here, I had little kids back in the day. So that was the big deal. Swiper, no swiping. Remember that? <laughs> right? Literally, little guys. Go. Up, pop, boom, shut him out. So here, up. Just here one. You have a drill right now. First drill, base, right? Okay, guys, you get me. Base drill, base drill, base drill. If you can't hold a base, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter what they know. Can't get them out. Turtle animal, low. Wrist, clear, and then get really big so you can get your hips out from underneath you, right? Correct? Man. Man, you got him, I got him, I did not. No, right? Small, small. Turtle, turtle. Very small. Hey, it's tough. As I'm saying, you now imagine you got a bunch of like 12 year olds you're trying to teach you to, right? You got to keep saying turtle. Turtles don't get big. They don't run on two feet. Here, slide, right? Oh, spiral. He's driving, driving. Oh, right? Big, big, big ankle. Oh. And then the whole time you're practicing. And the harder you can make that base drill, the better. That's a, that's a good, hey, gonna warm up. Base drill, base drill today. Lock hands, ankles, pull them back. Break it down. We can do this. Make a game of it, right? All right, guys, I got guys to do this. Come on. Right. Oh, gosh, sneak. That's it. Got it. There. He can't stay here. He's not gonna get out on anybody. All right. Heist. This is. This is the key for bottom. Like, in all positions. The ice is just the same as we get on. Be able to squeeze. Be here. Tight waist, go ahead. Be able to squeeze. Have a strong core. Right? And the hip ice is what gets you to your feet as the competition gets better. 
The easiest way to teach, I always say, is to sit out and just skim your butt cheeks. Okay? Most people know, sit out. Except I'm not staying here. It's up. Always up. Right? Always up. Tall. One's out. Right? This one, I feel the need to swipe the other one on this way. So it's here. Cut. And your hips got to be tall. How I teach that is, get down. A couple ways to teach them to get to the table position and get their hips up and to be explosive in their cut is raise up. Get a, get a, get a, right here, yeah? Perfectly square, almost like you can sit on. So if you had your whistle, he was in. And the guy goes, now look, where am I at? Table, right? So they get better at their hips, right? Getting to that, that's how high you want to be. And now, right? Again, come both ways. Again, walk it out. Clear. Again, walk it out. Flat. Can't do this. When they get tired and they get lazy, they're gonna go, okay. Oh, that's not a table right anymore. So this is that drill to teach them. When we sit, we go tall. Right? Matt's getting slippery. Tall and that strong neck I talked about. You need to use that muscle. Because if you're doing that, you're getting off the mat. Up. Cut. Quick, hard whip. Any questions on that? That's one part aspect of that hip ice. Are you um, emphasizing the, um, cause I was talking, because once you go up and if your hands are in your, and your back's flat, really, you can always get out of the way. So are you teaching and emphasizing you got to cut quick as soon as your hips are up? Oh, absolutely. Okay. Right, wrestling is this. Uh, yeah, yeah, right. Hesitation. Right. He's got it. Right, absolutely. <laughs> he absolutely. gets a start. I'm saying when you're, <laughs> when you're teaching it, I'm saying when you're teaching it to younger kids is what I'm saying. Yeah. Like emphasis. Yes, I tell my guys. Remember we talked about application. I tell my guys when I wrestle, when I when I'm going to do something, this is what I want to be. The most mentally focused at, in that time period. The most technical. The most explosive. The most flexible. Right. I want all those things engaged at one time. Everything I do, so yes, on this, it's always, it's explosion, it's, it, it, cause you see a lot of guys win matches because like he said, hesitation, not explosive enough, not really focused right. on, and that's what that drill does, right? That's the first one, and I'm gonna show you another one. Okay. So this part, this drill, if you know, somebody say go. Go. Oh. Oh. This drill's about cutting, but it's more about teaching your guys, can I sit on you? Right? If I walked around as your coach, could I sit on you? Could I put a cup of coffee on you? Would it spill on you? This is spills on this, it doesn't. So that's getting your butt off the mat. This next one. Here, you're gonna do this. <laughs> All right, lay flat. Because remember, hip, hip ice is a foundation to bottom. Even if it's stand up, you're fighting here and you're gonna be sagging. You're getting really bad in the hip ice, okay? So your feet are under, I don't want to sweat up. Put your feet where they're at, they're exactly right. Under your knees. Now, strong back, right? Tabletop position. And then as a partner, they're coming in, they're doing this. All right, anybody ever see this drill? Now, when somebody says go, not yet. When somebody says go, I'm gonna drop him. And he needs to be a cat. This is what, this is what enforces the cut, the explosion. All right, are you ready? I love it. You ready? Somebody say go. 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 That's it. So that drill, that's one of those fun little games, mm -hmm. right? Now, you start them high, back down. Right? Raise up. You start them like here. And then the game of practice is, okay, guys, who's got the, the best one? How low? Okay, he's really low, right? Oh, that's five inches. All right, somebody say go. 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 Oh, can we just make it? Barely. Barely. <laughs> <laughs> so that's, that's the, got it. Thanks. the table. Flat, right? The lower of the mat, that's the speed. So you were correct in asking that question. That's, it's all that, man. It's the hips, it's the power, it's the strength. It's all that. Now, um, when you get put up, huh, go ahead. There are like a hip ice escape when you like in the hip ice position where you can grab the opponent's head. When you grab the opponent's head? Yeah, um, when you're doing the hip ice, you know what I mean? Oh, uh, you're talking about reaching back and grabbing the guy's head? Yeah, is that viable or no? Okay, so you, you like when I st when I started wrestling, this is what I want you guys to think about. Well, there's a lot of rules. I'm, I haven't answered this question. When I started wrestling, it was always this: carry head up, elbows in, 
right? Oh. I was like, and then, okay, this is the sugar bit, right? And then there's, whoa, don't ever switch your lead leg, right? Started yelling at me, why? I never, I'm like, nobody ever answered me, they just don't do it, right? They got these, <laughs> they got these own set of rules that they learned back in the, you know, right. back in those guys, 50s and 60s. And uh, so, and also what you're asking is, when I first said resident, don't you ever reach back, right? Huh? Who's heard that? Right. Yeah, you don't reach back. So what I was saying, before I get it, so this, what I'm telling you when I watch people, and you know if you watch it up now, we have, you know, with flow and everything, we watch a ton of Europeans break every American rule we ever said. <laughs> <laughs> so now I'm like, hey, I don't know if that rule works, you know? <laughs> so, square, yeah, okay, great. Right here, well, I'm gonna switch leads now, right? So, on the body, when you say don't reach back, I don't want your skill level, kid, get under my arms, right? They probably don't wanna be doing this. Just because they're probably gonna get sucked back. Now, I used to do this though when I was first home. People were always yelling at me to stop doing it, and I got away because it comes back to his thing. Anything hard and fast enough can work as well, yes. right? <laughs> you know, and especially at different age group, hard, fast, and mean helps as well. So if this guy starts going viral, I'm like, oh, boom, Steve. Right. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, it may work, but I'm gonna say. 70, 80 percent of the time, you're going to you're going to have to have the right guy that can do that. Most of them don't reach back on. Okay. Right. Now that brings me to this. So I'm glad you brought that up. Okay. Get on me, Steve. I hit pipes here. Boom. Steve's under both arms. Right. And something to drill because it can happen. And and how many of you guys know Carlton House already? I do. You guys know him? Yep. You know him? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. You, you know his story? You guys know his story? Three-time Division Two champion. And, and, the, and the last three-time division one champion, right. heavyweight, Excellent. unbelievable. He moved like a 25-pounder, 18-pounder back then. And we were at a camp, and I hadn't seen this dude since. And he was all-pro football player. Won a bunch of national titles, and then went all-pro like two years later. So we were at a camp, and, and he hadn't been on a mat in years. And the people were asking this, because we were doing hip pipes and working bottom, and I was impressed to meet him finally. And he goes, somebody goes, what happened you get here? And they suck the guy back, he sucks you back. He goes, well, you gotta be ready for it, right? That was his simple answer. Keep it simple, stupid kind of thing, right? So the guy goes, suck me back. And Carlton went, bam! <laughs> <laughs> and I say that to make you laugh. It's a long day. And I say it too, because it really is that simple. Like, hustle wins a lot of positions, right? It wins a lot, right? So if, if Steve's on me, but if, but if they don't have a flinch mindset, a muscle memory sign, mindset, and I get here and I'm trying to, and Steve's pushing me back, I'm like, get out of here. You can start digging and exploding. So that's not, like, that's not a specific move. That's just you as a coach. And if you're writing down notes, think of positions where hey, you, things go wrong. And then, okay, where's it go wrong at when I'm drilling the hip ice? Because that's one of the positions the hip ice is going to go wrong. So ready to blast. And I love Pat Hasbrook, man. He smashes. <laughs> I was like an old coach, he wasn't ready for it. <laughs> Alright, hip ice. Hip ice is going to drive to your feet. You know, so your back. This is like the focus. Base, right? Being a sprinter out of the block, you don't win. You got to be able to be a turtle, got to be able to work out, got to find hands. Okay, got to have a strong core. When you get the hip ice, you know it's a tabletop, set coffee on them. It's getting exposed to here. Now this, this guy ain't giving up. Go ahead, turtle. Now you get to your stand. I think that this drill, stop doing this in your practice room because it's, it's not, if you can, guys give up. If they give up in competition, awesome. But most people don't give up. And people, we spend a lot of time doing this. Right? It was never that easy, right? Unless the dude just let you go. But we did a lot of it. You get to your feet and see. Uh, get to your feet, he drew me up. Back to that hip place. Here, I hit place, he's fighting, fight my front feet. Now in my stand up, and then you elbow in. Okay, nice and tight. Not going to happen unless he gets up. So when they get to their feet, when you hit by someone, drive to our feet. I gotta go back to the mat. That's what we're gonna do. Come here. 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 When I get up here, he's probably trying to chase me and pull me up. So what I'm doing is he's trying to suck me up. See, I'm going back to the mat. I gotta get heavy to extend. I'm probably cutting here. That's where you gotta you gotta cut. You can't get heavy. You can't get heavy here, right? You're trying to stay here. It's really hard. I got to extend his arm. I got to get it around from my tight waist. If he's wrapped here, this is hard for me. I got to get his hand where it's sliding off. The only way it slides off, and this is why hip heist is like the strongest position on bottom. Watch his hand. 
when I do that. Watch, get sliding. Here, show your guys this when you're teaching them the hip punch. Big, big tight waist, Steve. Look where his hand's at. And we go here, watch where his hand goes. Oh, you can't hold me, can you? Pretty sweaty. Yes. So, <laughs> and that's strong, too. <laughs> look, sit here. This, one, now this is how I would demo. Here's his hand, kids. Watch when I go to the table position where his hand goes. See, it's, it's popping with my hips. So it's the same on your feet. Gee, if Steve's throwing me up, I gotta get up and get my sound. Ready to wrestle. Ready to wrestle. Got that? So stop doing that. That lazy. Go ahead, cut. Cut, cut, cut. Yeah, I just, you don't get there. You really don't get there on that. Now, this one is, I think, a little bit heavy. If I, guy had his hands locked, and then I'm going to play ways. And these are all, I, I'm not going to teach you, these are drill positions. This is where I do a lot of reps, like tabletop, hands, blow up, blow up, blow up, cut to the back. Okay, so if a guy gets his hands locked, don't look at it. Don't look at it. It's back to a hip heist position. And some guys are real strong here, so I have two, two thought patterns. First one is here, boom, shift it, stagger my feet. So now my hip bone doesn't work. <laughs> my hip's popping. Here, 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 here. <laughs> Right? That's what I'm doing. But I ain't gonna lie, somebody gets a, once they get, if they get a secure lock, this is tough, right? So what I do is, start thinking ahead, is I'm going back to the mat. And when we go back to the mat, what's gonna happen? Fine. You gotta unlock, so go ahead. Go ahead, I'm <laughs> waiting. Back to my eyes. I'm, I'm waiting for the return, if I can't break it. I wait for the return, and then I slide and get ahead of it. All right, so let's go, tight waist. Come on, Ben. Sorry. I'm trying to get off the mat. <laughs> 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 okay. Go, heavy hip, trap opponent. Drill with that partner. Drill with partner. Inside leg up to high. Okay. So tight waist. This, 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 this keeps a lot of people up. Um, I'm a tight waist rider, so I'm, I'll try to stick you here. So, wrap me. So, it gets you here. And they, they chop you. Now, the longer, go ahead, deep, go ahead, pull me to my side leg. Yes. If uh, if he gets all the way back here and he's got his knees under me and stuff, the fight's not over. It's just really hard, right? And you're gonna have to keep working. And then the drill I'm gonna show you. This is gonna be a drill because you know you're gonna face the tight waist. Back up. I'll show you how I do mine. Get down, referee's <laughs> position. This was my right tight waist. I didn't I didn't spiral. I didn't do any of that stuff. So when that that referee. So I blew the whistle and we said, go. This, this is what I did. I, I shifted on the whistle and then I came back. And I wanted to put you here. Now, this is the, the, like the fetal position drill. So if he, if he was tight waist to my left and he chopped me and beat me, this is the position I would be in. So the first thing I'm showing you is without the partner, right? Is his knees driving in. He chops and he tight waist. He goes, Peter. And just like the instinct on our feet, guy grabs your wrist clear. Guy collar ties you in push. Right, the underhooks you heavy. Guy chops you. Now, he's on my left. I have to get back to this hip. And so I have to snap my body and reach out. And I got a Superman. So I go from here to <coughs> That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to explode because even though I show you this, it doesn't mean it's going to work. Because if you don't have enough power you can generate, enough explosion, enough reach, and you can't get heavy, then it's not going to work for you. So all those things get, get in play. And when I say Superman, understand at one point Steve's arm's gonna be under my, my body here. So when I do this, it's anchored, it's trapped. I'm not gonna do this. So now I can go back in and tight waist me again. So if I get chopped, hit, right? That's the drill. The guy chops me, boom, snap. And when I snap, I'm trying to snap so hard that there's a moment that I'm like a centimeter airborne. So extend, right? Extend, yeah. And the toes are in and I'm wide. He chops me this side, boom. Extend, yeah. wide. So you're on me. And you tight waist and you chop me. That's what I'm trying to get back to. All right, no, 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 stay there, stay there, stay there. So now, this is back to that Superman part. His arm, you feel your arm on me? Underneath, 
So I'm, I'm gonna get him off me and I'm gonna keep that arm trapped as long as I can. I'm trying to get all his weight over here because the daylight's here now. So I go, elbow, tight, right? Go ahead, bust me flat, bust me flat. Right. I just crept back out of the height. Right, I got back from underneath and up, 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 up. So, slow Steve. That guy chops. As soon as you got a hit, right? As soon as you hit, you gotta have your kids reaching and stretching and trying to get this hit done. Kicking, kicking. You might, you might do it two or three times, but the first one's the most important. The longer I stay here, the tighter gets. So it's here, up, right? Now, there's no daylight under my arm and his arm. I mean, my chest and his arm. Stomach in his arm, I should say. So when I Superman up, I'm keeping him trapped for as long as I can. Now, not only am I trapping him, now comes creeping out to a heist position. Right? And then help me, I might use my elbows. I'm back. I'm either cutting from the mat, or Steve's not giving up. Go ahead, up, 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 up. To our feet, next to the mat. Tight waist drill. Everybody, fetal position. Whistle. Boom. Right. Whistle. Boom. Right. Whistle. Boom. All right. Get a partner. Get him on top. Start there. That's it. Over and over again. That tight waist sucks. Right. And especially when you watch them lay on their belly and they can't. They got to know where to go. You have to give them instead of just saying, hold, squeeze. Now they know. You got them, you got them going here. Clearing. Okay. Up. 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 You know, you got him here, I'm clearing, up, 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 back to my heist. Any questions? Where are we at? Feeding the tight waist. Feeding the tight waist. Inside, and, and what leg happens on a heist, it, it doesn't really matter to me, honestly. It's either one that comes up. Okay. Clearing rises using clearing off. Okay, that, that's good. Right there. Go back down. Okay, so, drill. Use it. Mind, this is a practice warm up for my guys. Or uh, at the end, get on me, Steve. Actually, I'm gonna make you do this. Yeah. Have you do it. All right, on stomach. Two on one. Right? Ah. Yeah. Right? Sucks, doesn't it? Now, <laughs> so look. Put your arm back out there. Put it just like this. That's a nice little handlebar. Right? It's, it's perfectly. It's in front of me where I can get my weight. I'm gonna put his not only my weight on. I'm gonna put his own body weight on. So you, first of all. It's, when Steve's clearing, so I go here, huh, over. Now, here's how you, I want you to point your elbow toward Emma. Get it up and point it toward Emma. Yeah. Okay. Now look at it. Now it's comfortable. Not, not a handlebar anymore, right? Turn to these guys. So instead of it being nice and square where I can put Steve over it, now when he pulls it up, point your elbow toward your head. Try to put your ear against it. Like this. Now look. Now I can't really pull it under anymore. Now, free hand, grab that. Grab it, peel it, peel it. Now spin, now spin, now spin. No, 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 now spin the other one. Spin it free, boom. All right, other hand, other hand. Here we go. Go, no, get it up. Peel and spin, peel and spin. All right, oh, one. Come on, Steve. Peel and spin, that's it, spin. Other side, oh, come on, peel and spin. All right, now you can add to that drill, give it to me. All right, go, pill spin. Get the base, roll the base. Here we go, we're heisting, we're heisting, we're heisting. That's it. All right, back down, back down. Other wrist, other wrist, Steve. Over it, okay, Steve, get getting better at it. Come on, double up, pill spin, base. Got it, got it? It's a problem for you guys, right? So, don't let it be comfortable on that one. Not here, here. Pill it, spin it, tight. Hey, well, I guess one thing I didn't do on the base, well, I think it's coming up later. It's happening, and you'll see him do it. When he's coming up to his base, he's not clearing me and going, he's not really like turtling me, he's not doing this. I always roll, right? So I clear when I do this. And then my elbows get on me, Steve. Especially if I cleared him. He was on this arm, and I, I cleared him, and I spun on him. Now I'm gonna start doing this. And as I roll my hips and my knees are tight, 
and I'm pushing up. He's probably gonna try to cover my left side a little bit harder. <laughs> my elbows and my hands. Now he's gonna be under my arms chasing me. That's what's gonna happen. Base building is either rolling up, right? Rolling up, or it's, when you see kids do this, that's a lot of work compared to, watch. I put my foot up and then I, I push back over that leg. Here, I clear spin, I bring my foot up, I push back, I, now I'm gonna creep back out. So, there's a drill by itself. Flat guys, roll to base. Right, roll to base, okay. Right, roll to base, hip ice. Cut away. All right, push back. One foot, and then at an angle, heist. One foot, push back, at an angle, heist. On your knees. This, two on one. Okay, guys, practice. This guy, as your guys get better, Steve, 15%. Pull me out of my base, keep it two on one, go. He's 15, 15. Hands, feel it. Right, other side. I don't need to do a hip heist right now, but you could add it. Right, it could be one of your warm ups here. You can add it. Go ahead, 20% steep. I gotta get better in my base. That's it. Good, other side. 80% steep. Another one. 99% steep. That's it. No, you son of a bitch. Bad shoulder. Let's fight. Keep working, Steve. Keep working. Claw. Claw. Huh? So. Steve lost his job after his <laughs> claw. So he's going tight waist, he's going claw. Another one. Warm up, right? Warm up technique. They're drilling, but they think they're warming up. As they get better at it, you got these warm ups you're going through, but you know you're getting reinforcement. You know, okay, my guys are getting good at real base. If they stand up and cut away, awesome, right? They don't stand up and cut away, you know you got hours of time. Turtle shell, top hand. Okay, this, there's some technique this one. I peel and I'm bringing it down. What's gonna happen when I do this? What's gonna happen when I bring this hand down? He's gonna grab my other wrist, right? This is panic mode for me. Don't let him go, I got two hands on his. I'm okay. That's why I think people have them. They come down, oh dang it. Now he starts rolling in on me. Well, claw, right? Tension, elbow tight, he goes wrist. I'm keeping his, doesn't matter to me. I got a wide base. So what I want to do is get in front of this thing. This is what I call knee walk. Remember I talked about being mobile in your base? You still have to be mobile, don't just sit there. But I'm gonna knee walk it here. So I'm gonna get his hand back toward my back pocket and then I'm gonna spin. So I'm gonna pop up just for a second, watch my knee get in front of me. Here, yeah. Slide now. Call me the other side, please. Other side, call, okay, tight, tight. He's got my wrist, go ahead, go ahead. Knee walk you're okay guys again keep telling that you're okay don't panic don't panic you got his wrist he's got yours it's 50 50. you're in base he can't get a leg get any drive on you all right post it spin it okay you're fine. now they're clear call one of the things you're gonna get hit by ankle right already did right ankle right same on the whistle right yeah yeah he's a go guy so this is flinching thing as soon as somebody touches your ankle, wait, wait, wait on it. Um, okay, other side, other side. Other side. Other side. Okay, you gotta break, you gotta cramp. Oh, tighten up, tighten up. I think this is my mark. Yeah, too late now. What up? This is definitely your last job. <laughs> <laughs> This one, and I love this ride. We're doing a lot of it now. This guy, right? Oh, nice looking in. Right, now, other side. Okay, so, you can either, there's two ways of doing this. Right away, that's more of a flinch mindset, which I think everybody should have. 
right? Put me on the way. Sorry. Not going to happen. Other side. Put me on the Not going to happen. That's just hustle. That's just mindset. There's no hesitation. Technically, go ahead, hook. Okay, you got settled on me. Got settled on me. So, you got to go in. Got to go away. Butt's got to come up. Oh. Right? And then, bagging it out. Other side. He hooked me. He got settled on me. Flinch, flinch mindset didn't work. Step, both legs come up, hold in. Right. Slide it out. So you're quad, so you're quad and then you're hip height. Yep, yep. Go in here, one. And then drag. Next. Oh, some of them like to pull. Your leg here? Crabber. Crabber? So, legs. There's a bunch of drills for left. This is a drill. I have. This is what I hate. Let's say you're, you're playing for a guy to leg it, but let's say I'm on my stomach, and I know, get on me. I know he's a, I know he's a leg guy. Tell my guys, just because we have our stomach. So this is a drill we do. Be conscious. I don't know. At some point, we find ourselves on our stomach, I guess. I don't know how. Maybe we clear the rest. Okay. Now, all the top man is going to do is put legs in. This has got to be like... As they get better at when they understand what's going on, it's a 90, 99% drill is what it is. Because, hop off here, Steve. When you're facing a legger and you're on the bottom, your knees always have to be where? Tight, right? And if, if, if you get to your base, then your elbows replace your knees of being tight. So we start a drill here. The whole top guy do is try to get legs in, and we roll, bump, bump, bump. We roll, bump, bump, bump. Right? And it's a game. All right, Steve, come on. Probably go 100%, buddy. Let's go. Get him in. All you can do is get legs in. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, get him in, get him in. Good, good. All right, you're down. Starting flat. All I'm trying to do is get legs in. So that's the thing. You tell guys, guys, we know we're wrestling legger. You always, Steve's always got to come. He's got to try to twist his knees up. He's got to try to use the mat to stay tight. Go. Look at the freeze. This is the difference between college guys and high school guys. And this is where you have to find some good video. There's a good one of Tom, uh, Terry Brands and Jeff Prescott wrestling. It's an excellent video. I show it every year to my guys. And it's just what's happening right now. Prescott was a great rider. Brands was great at Heisen, and it was a lot of fight, man. They were fighting, right? And that's what, what Steve's doing, right? Look at his elbow. He's got his elbow in my rib cage. His hands are pushing me away. Go, go, go back to it. I'm trying. My turn. Go, get him in. Go. Now I like the roll because of my freestyle days. You got it. You got it. You can do it. It's just a, it's a fun little drill. It's a very, it gets them very conscious. So if I know I'm wrestling, they do tight elbow, bang. Right? Okay, can't get off this way, get up. And you start them on the belly. Next. Yeah, clearing the leg on the way in. Clear the leg back. So habits, right? Just, just habits. This is just a, another little drill. Okay, go ahead. Stick the leg in. Now, on this drill, back off one second, I'm going to start big. I'm starting big just so it's rest, right? I'm real big so Steve can get it in quick. Go ahead. Step in. Right. Other side. Okay. So look at this position first. I'm almost parallel with the mat, not perpendicular. If I get perpendicular, I get pulled back. The motion is sit to the hip, right, and back a little bit. Because when I go back, it gets the leg out of my crotch. When I first fall, it's gonna be here if I just rock, if I rock. But when I rock, I go back. And now, back to that drill that Steve and I just did. You're really in the same fight again, right? I'm flat, I'm on the mat, and this guy's a legger. I'm either bumping, or I'm covering, up. Other side, Steve, slow low, legs in. Instinct, watch me rock and go back. Chest goes parallel to the mat. He's gonna stay with me. Oh, the other side, oh, no way, buddy. The other side, no way, buddy. Habits, 
Any questions on that? It, this is the mistake. Are you sitting on that ankle that he's kicking that he's throwing in? I'm sitting on the leg. Watch. Watch this. Get on me, Steve. Get on the other side because she's over here. So when I go back, see what, what's what's happening here is what's your name? Tracy. Tracy. I, I'm not letting them get tight. When they get tight, it's a whole different ball game. Right now it's about hustle, drill, reaction, foot came in your crotch, urgency. So as I go back, I straighten and I go back. And I'm kind of my body weight goes to his, his shin. So I'm not really on the ankle. I'm here. And I only get a millisecond there. Hit. Block him out. Right? Block him out. You know this drill. You don't know if he's a leader to go other places. But for this drill, it's out. Pop. He's going to stay with him. But probably, what's he going to have to do? Get it the other side. Leg in. Oh, no. Come on. Yeah, well, I go here. Mr. Crab Ride guy, pin me, right? You better be ready. Get to the other side because I probably just keep on trying to pull you. So you can develop the drills, right? You can elevate all the places that they can continue to go to. But now you know, without Steve, let's just say, Lay came in on my right. Lay came in on my left. This is without a partner. Oh. Right? Lay came in on my right. What's important? Right? What's important is I throw the leg back and I put my chest perpendicular to the mat. Right? <laughs> that was parallel. Parallel, parallel. parallel, right? Parallel, get over. Here, boom, parallel, get over. Next. Okay, love this one. Easy for me. I, I always tell people like it's, it might be, it's, it might be easier for me because I'm short. Uh, I know there's certain modes that are easy for me to ensure. Definitely, long guys can't get some of the holes I can get into. But get on the referee's position. Get up, get tall, because we're gonna drill it this way, right? Just the reps. Look, like a cup of coffee, right? I can sit right on top. Nice flat back. And this is what I find this to be the easiest for me. Okay. So now, same thing. Throw boot it up. Let's say you're gonna go right. Okay, back up. Go ahead, throw it in. Never went to the mat. So the reason, if you see it, it says plank, perpendicular, can't sit on me. I found that going, the leg goes back, and you can do this side, you do the drill without him. It's here, right? This side, here, turn the chest up, here, and then I'm gonna pull. Get on me, get steep. Leg comes in. Oh, the, I didn't let, I shifted him, I didn't let him get comfortable. Pull. All right, back to the rest of them. We know I'm going to just hop, and I'm going to keep coming up. Other side, leg comes in. Shift, get over it, other side, leg comes in. I like this, this drill, and it helps me, it helps my guys a lot. Like, instead of going to the mat, we just blown. Getting out of there. So that's why it says plank. When you go here, different little battles. Or you go, slide out, right here slide out. Again, these are before, when you get into legs and they get into more technical stuff. So Next. Forward. Forward. Hustle is everything. Technique is everything. Leg in. Boom. And all your practicing. The longer I stay here, the more comfortable Steve gets. We did. Leg came in, we went to the mat and cleared. Leg came in, we went to a plank position, cleared. Somehow it got me to my stomach. I got to turn my toe away, right? And then you're back to your freestyle days. Slide, knees. Other side, Steve. Here, turn your toe away, right? Toe goes away from him. And now I got to go Superman forward. Knees through, up. Other side, legs in, toe away. Forward, knees up, other side, here, forward, knees up. Questions? Without him, you're gonna be here, face, right? Toe away, here, face. And make sure it's gonna crawl, gonna crawl, right? Get your knee through. Next. Huh? Yeah. Okay, give me five more minutes. 
Okay. So breakdown drill. Okay. Break, breakdown drill is just like we did a base. So when we're doing a bit our warm up, stop by my mind. Okay, start the warm up. The warm up to start is just vote more about the bottom guy. And you maybe do four or five minutes. You go 30 seconds goes. Locked hands, grabbing, pulling his eyeballs, whatever takes to pull today, right? Then we switch to drill two. Basic skill uh, breakdown. That would be the top man. And you this guy, you gotta say this guy be a good partner. Now I get to win, Steve. Right? It's top man drill. Okay, Gary, get your chops. Bam! Flat. Okay. Then to my spiral boom. I'm running flat. Bang, bang, go, go, go. Okay, back to my ankle. That's all that is. That's self-explanatory. That's all that is. Both sides. Now you're getting into the top stuff. So, um, release the hips. I add this into my top riding skills. So that's a riding skill drill. Getting flat. Grandy. Feel guys, hips come up. Go ahead, pop up. Okay, Grandy's coming. Go ahead. Clear. You feel that stuff. You've got to drill it. Drill it till they feel it. Okay. I don't know. Do you grab me both sides? No. <laughs> okay. So that's fine. No, no, no. That's fine. Stay there. I'll get back on. Which is, is this your good side? Yeah, that's fine. That's okay. Fine. I feel it. Arm out. Right? Here. Feel the hips come up. Back up. Drill that skill. Drill it so they know. They get a sense. You can add. With that. You only grab this side. I only roll one side. Okay. He pops up. Grab me. And I get eaten. Because sometimes I know you've seen it happen when two guys roll. So develop the feeling for it a little bit. So a guy learns when he can stay with the guy and when he has to pop out on the guy. I always prefer to pop out first. I would only roll with the guy if I got beat and I was like, I got to tuck with him now. Right? So I don't lose him. That is another skill you put again, slow. He pops up. I'm just learning to flow. And it's a good mechanical awareness kind of thing. You're starting to feel where you're at. That you can stay with somebody. Next. Oh, sorry. Turning up on the mat to okay. This is a, a, a heart rate warm up or conditioning. We say to our guys, the only reason the guy gets out is because you let him out. So we're a lifting team. I say that. We are a lifting team. You're not going to see my guys do this because that's like conditioning practice. And that you say, okay, it's six minutes overtime, and everybody finishes on the mat. They don't want to do the hard stuff anymore. Picking a guy up off the mat is super safe. And when I pick him off the mat, okay, rest of the day, Steve, can't do anything, can't touch the mat, can't move anymore. So when you start pulling a guy, that's lazy wrestling, that's I'm mentally weak, I'm, I think I'm physically weak, but I'm not. So don't let him do so I just don't like suck back, period. Um, you know, I, I just. I just feel like it's not worth the time and effort to learn a suck back. I'd rather just keep finding different ways to return a guy from the standing position. So, and I don't have anybody that does it. And I, won't, I won't let them do it, I just don't like it. Okay, back to that. So, if you get your hands locked, great. Easy place. We have a mindset to this. All right, hands locked, step around, get to your toes. Again, we're drilling. Come up, Steve. Okay, other side. Okay, other side. Good. Maybe I do five lifts. Breathe. Steve's turn, right? I'm a Mike. I, I, and I, when I'm my guys, I have college guys. Hey, lift and return. Go ahead, change it. They start. And I tell them, bounce and breathe. Okay, these are college guys. They know when I'm going to catch my breath, but i got to be stretching. i got to be getting better. Okay, did that. We lifted. All right. Up. Now, Steve. Always be careful. High school kids have a tendency to trap somebody's arm. Don't do that and separate a shoulder. Guy comes up, oh, go. We have this mindset that we have to lock our hands to return somebody. Not true. And so the guy can't do this. Oh, dang, he's blocked me out with his elbow. Shoot, blocked me out with elbow. Here, hand, right? You can't get it locked. Now they think, I can't lift anymore. Not true. Don't panic, drill here. I like to go outside, I, I feel good. I just feel more comfortable getting here. I got guys who just grab the bicep. So as soon as I get up and Steve shuts me down here, okay, hip, down. Oh, you can still pick a guy up. In fact, you'll find you better. That hurts you, sorry. No, no, no you're okay. good. Um, you can get a guy up in the air from there. They're gonna practice a little bit more and it's a little bit of a harder lift, which is why they don't wanna do it. They wanna get here 
than this. But if I can get here, I can still pick Steve up. I can still pop. It may not be as high. And not as pretty. I'm not going to return you. But I'm rolling it. Pick him up. Now you're back to right. So hands locked. Warm up lift. Hands not locked. Warm up lift. Up. He stands. Right, chest me off, elbow. All right, now that hand's running here, because look, it's going to be the opposite when I run to my high seat. If he shut me off here because I'm digging, I need my head to dig it. That hand, it's going to put my head, look at my angle, look at my position. Here, trying to lock him, trying to lock him. Now, here's the mistake on this one. People try to grab the knee, right? You want to get this guy sitting on your forearm. Here, you can either run it to return, drive, drive, drive. Back up, see right to your feet. Keep drilling. Get it, get it, get it. Right? Or you go here. Yep, hands, hands, hands. <coughs> You'll pop. You're gonna find yourself in a Turk position. Get him upside down, hanging from the hip. Big step. Get in there. Just three returns right now on my warm up. Down. Right? I'm getting locked. Stand, go. Boom, hands locked. Go ahead, stand. Can't get locked. Go ahead. Can't get locked. All right? Nobody gets out unless we let them out, man. Back down. Guy stands. Up, up, up. Right? He's leaning. Watch this position. It's one, then two. It's kind of like that high C drill. So I got his hip. I'm going to go here. You see what happened to Kevin's, I mean, Steve's ball, I call you Kevin. Up movie, remember the up movie? Here, right? <laughs> I don't, wasn't he in New York? Wasn't he holding out in New York trying to save his house? Here, <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, that was the bird. <laughs> <laughs> so here, I pull and drop, watch him shift. I never let go of that hip. Remember the ramp arm on the single? Same position. Right? Slow, because I'm getting tired. Stand. Locked. Lift. Stand. Can't get locked. Still can lift. Right? Can't get locked. Return. Go. Hold up. Can't get locked. One, two. Right? Guy doesn't get out unless you let him out. He ain't getting away, right? That one, if a guy gets his legs wide on here, here, and he's wide. The head, I still have his hip. My head does this. I see a movement when I bring my head in. And then I hook. And be careful that I don't blow anybody's knee out. Because I'm just anchoring him. I'm not sweeping him. My head takes him out in this block. Stay up if you can. That's it. Now, that's what's bringing him to the mat. All right, hang on. There's another one in there, I think. So we drew. We did up. We did hook. Um, ball last skill. Last drill down. Sit and turn. Go. Sit and turn. Back. Sit and turn. Freeze. Okay. You know, staying off your knees and staying with them. But then sometimes you get beat. When I say go, go slow. Go, 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 go. Freeze. Can't get back. Can't get back. So now it's called what I call it a reroute. Go ahead, keep going. Keep going. Right? Now. So, with all that you saw, right? Let me 
show you how to start getting your kids to wrestle a little bit, just real quickly. Granby, I'm gonna release. You're a stud, you're gonna keep wrestling. You're gonna stand. I'm gonna return you. You're going right to your sit. I'm gonna follow. Got it? You're gonna stand again. I'm gonna return you again. Granby, stand. Right, sit, turn, stand. That's teaching him to keep wrestling. It's got me wrestling. Go. Along the way, son. No, no. Slippage. Gotcha, got him. <laughs> <laughs> so, any questions on how to start chaining the bottom? Is there, you got drills for your heist? Right? I just showed you real quick. That's just what, one example. That's how you start chaining on the bottom. Right? Same thing on the bottom. I mean, on top. You could go returning three times, men. You need three returns before you get your legs into a power half. Right? Or you could say, bottom man, stand. Doesn't work. Bottom man, uh, stand the second time. Doesn't work. Sit out, turn in. Top man follows. Grammy. When your guys get in a rhythm, they know the top man already knows, knows I gotta lift Steve twice. Because his first two stand-ups didn't work, right? So stand, stand, sit and turn, grab me. Down. Go. Oh, no way, not today, buddy. Oh look, I'm working something else. Uh, no. Oh, 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 Okay, any questions? Is there like an ideal way you want to return them to avoid them from being able to scramble afterwards? Like yeah, well we didn't get to it because I've been, these guys said you needed some drills, but every return, mm -hmm. going easy is about looking for this. Uh, oh. Wrist, heavy, top, arm on the back, or tail. you're always trying to. Get a trap? Trying to yeah. smash him flat. Okay. But we're, the biggest thing is guys not learning to give up. Yeah, 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 Our you. saying is, hesitation kills your career. The guy stands 50 times, my guys will be like, we return 50 times. It's just mindset, mindset, mindset. You know? Even the college guys, guys, I have those little sayings. If you don't have them with high school kids, you're going to have problems. That's a reinforcement, reinforcement, reinforcement. Any questions? Practice structure for me. You know now, warm up. It's my skill stuff. It ain't gonna be jog, jog, jog. Although we do have days like that too. I look at the whole year and say, okay. I, you can even make a list. Okay, we do defensive skills on our feet. Yep, got it. Then we do bottom skills. Got it. Back to top skills. Got it. Keep going through them. Build it out, build it out, build it out. Right? Then you get into the teaching part. When I get into a teaching part, if it's new technique, you know, maybe my guys can do four or five things in the same area. So if I'm doing a single leg, we might be doing single mat return, I mean single return with the knee, single turning down, single turn down, he stands up, sweeping back, single, boom, run the pipe, you know, and I might say, put whatever turn you want in there, you know, and add, if you want to add something on that, go ahead. Those are what, your guys, maybe it's two, three things that you can have. You got to stay in a single, and if you're working on finishing high, finishing high here, Finishing high here, right? Finishing high here, comes back up, boom, that might be all you do. You know? And if, but if you got a better team, maybe you can add more things on top of that. And a technique phase for me, you know, I might spend 45 minutes, I might, and I'm really good about telling my guys if I want exactly what they're gonna do. When I do a workout, I send it to them. They get it in our, our group chat, here's today's goals. Here's today's goal. Here's today's practice goal. They know exactly what they're doing. I want them to be mentally prepped for it. Here's how long we're going to warm up. Here's what we're doing. Here's how long we're going to work through technique. Here's what we're working on. Then we're going live. And when I say live, we're doing two things. We're doing situational wrestling, like if it's a technique practice. And then we're doing we're doing combative drilling as well. You guys know what combative drilling is? It's just like what Steve and I did. Combative drilling is really hard. We, I mean, combative life. Sorry, my bad. So if we learn to single, we're going to do situational wrestling. 
Because I wanted to put, I wanted to be in that area that we worked. I don't want to just blow the whistle and let, especially your guys. You should have like preseason. You should be almost seventy percent situational wrestling. Because you, I know you have guys that when you say yo, they're out here. You just spent two hours doing a single, right? You got to put them in there. So as the season goes on, it's probably seventy percent situational wrestling. And as it goes on, sixty, coming down, fifty, fifty. But then you get to the end of the year, now your practices are shorter and this match goes. So Steve and I are here. Oh, wrestle. All right, we did this position, pop up, okay. Now let's go up here, we did this one, go, okay. Now his hands are on the mat, go from there, go, right? Now here's the one that's gonna get done. This is, this is situational wrestling from, a, we say easy and hard out. So it might work, call time. Okay, pass it, Stay. front hit lock, Stay. take a shot, take a shot, down block, go take a shot. All clear, single, wrestle. It's live. So what does that do? It gets my guys. So you can easily say, you need to keep clear a collar tie two times. You got to down block at least one shot. And when you decide to hit that single, you hit that single. And when they get in, it's live. So now you got your guy moving, 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 moving. Boom! And we're wrestling. Now the thing about that drill is, it's not supposed to be fair for this guy. And his job is letting you, and you'll find kids that cheat, right? Go ahead, which is your single tie? Okay, go ahead, go, go, go. Right, already starts up. And they gotta get past that. So his goal is to not be fair about it because I don't want to do all this to develop hesitation. So when you swing in, you go. So we're wrestling, we're wrestling, man. He should not swing in and, and say, I gotta make it fair. You go, you shoot to the finish. That's that's combative situational wrestling right there. You have to move, 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 and go. Then you got in your conditioning stuff. You can come back to drills, you know, I can sprint them. Rest Any questions? I know I went over my time. Yeah, thanks. Thank you. All right. All right, man. Appreciate it. Thanks, guys.